is Christy. Welcome back to my channel. Today I've got a card using a whole bunch of Lawn Fawn stamps, including Dad Plus Me, Den Sweet Den, Very Happy Holidays, Totally Awesome, Swan Soiree, and Berry Rainy Day. So I've stamped those images out in Lawn Fawn Jet Black Ink on Spectrum Noir Ultra Smooth Premium White Cardstock and I'm going to be coloring with my Copic markers. So I'm going to start with my bears and I wanted them to be black bears. I'm using W5, W7, and W9 this time. So if you watched my recent Sending Big Woodland Hugs video, um, I was coloring black bears for the very first time. Black bears are native to Pennsylvania where I live. So I wanted to attempt it, but I was pretty nervous because they're so dark that their features can get really lost. But I decided to be brave and try something new. So in that video, I colored them using some toner grays and it turned out really nice. You guys seem to really enjoy that, but today I wanted to try a different combo. So I went with the warm grays instead. So I started out with baby bear, but I am going to color mama bear to match. So I'm using that W9 first to lay in some shadow. And boy, this is the color that makes me really nervous because it is so dark. It's nearly black. So um, yeah, I'm just laying those in and trying not to be too heavy handed with this color because I do want, you know, you just still really be able to see, you know, their faces and all the little details of their hands and legs. So once I have that W9 laid in, I'm gonna come in with my mid-tone, which is the W7, and begin to blend that out, making sure that I am going right over the very edge of that W9 and pulling that marker, that color that's already laid down, into the next shade so I get a nice smooth blend. But you can see I still left a lot of area for this W5 because I really wanted you to um, be able to distinguish, you know, where all those lines are. And I didn't want any of that to kind of just end up being lost. So I'm filling in around the face and the arms, the legs, and now finally bringing that up on the belly because I wanted that to be lighter as well. Just doing little circular motions to make sure that everything is nicely filled in. And then I did add a second layer on there off screen. And then I'm moving on and using W1, W3, and W5 to do the fishing pole. I am going to end up changing this later on. I decided that I wanted more color on this scene. So I ended up coloring that differently. Also my marker leaked my W1. Um, as I mentioned recently, I just refilled all of my markers. So sometimes after that, if you overfill, they can get a little leaky. And uh, I must have done that with the W1. But I'm moving on to my fish, switching back to my W3 and adding a little color at the top to give them a little bit of a silvery scale. I wanted them to be rainbow trout because my youngest son is a fisherman and he fishes for rainbow trout quite a lot and brings them home smoked and they're delicious. <laughs> so I started with that and then I moved on to the bear's muzzles and used E51 E53 and E55 so that they look like traditional black bears. Then I'm going to darken up that combo by keeping the E55 and adding in the E57 and E59 to color in my cattails. So using a darker version of a shade I've already done, it's just going to help everything really incorporate well together because the tones will be very similar. So I just shaded in those kind of in the direction that they were leaning. Then I'm moving on to the fishing cap and I wanted to do that in kind of like a khaki green shade. So I went with YG91, YG93, and YG95. 
doing my shadows with the YG95 and I'm putting them heavier on the right hand side because eventually this is going to sit on the dad bear's head so it'll be tipped to the right and then I just blended it toward the left with the lighter shades and then I wanted to add some of that to my trout as well. So I'm going with the YG93 for the darkest and adding that to the bellies and then blending toward the center with the YG91. And then to bridge the gap between the gray and the green, I'm going to add in a little rosy stripe with R11. Then I'm going to darken up this combo by keeping the YG95 and adding in YG97 and YG99 to do the band across the hat. And I did go back in with a little more of the YG99 and YG97 to darken up the shadows. And then I am moving on to BG32, BG45, and BG49 and I'm going to do the pail that is holding the fish. So I'm using the BG49 on the outside edges and then blending toward the center so it'll have a nice shine in the center. And I use the BG32 for that but this marker is pretty dry. This one didn't get refilled because I needed to buy a refill for it. So it didn't really blend very well. So I did a second layer of the darkest two shades to kind of help with that. But then to smooth out that center, I decided to switch to BG11. So I'm gonna go over that to just kind of smooth that all out and that worked really well. And then I also wanted to do the dragonfly with this combo. So this time when I do that, I'm going to skip the BG32 completely and just do the lightest shade with the BG11 on the ends of the wings. And I also decided to do the handle of the fishing rod and I just used the darkest two shades for that since it was very narrow. And then this is where I decided to change up the color of the fishing rod and make it red instead. And since those grays were very light, it was easy to do. I used R24 and R29 for that. And then I wanted to change up my green tones. So I used G24 and G29 to do all of the grasses around my cattails. So just using that G29 first and shading them again in the direction that they're bending so that the part that's bent more toward the ground is darker and then the highlight is more facing the sun. Blend it out with the G24 for the lightest, just those two shades since they're pretty narrow. And I went a little bit outside the lines on one of those, so I just grabbed my colorless blender to clean that up. And then I wanted my frogs to be yet another shade of green so that they were distinct. So I used YG11, YG13, and YG17 for them. Again, putting the darkest colors closer to the bottom and the highlights at the top of the face and the back of the little bum and legs. And then for the sitting guy, I made him have a little bit of a lighter belly. Then I used a black Sakura Jelly Roll pen to go over the eyes of my frogs and my bear. Didn't do the fish because I didn't want them to stand out as much. And then I trimmed these all out with their coordinating dies. For the background, I've cut down several pieces of cardstock. I use narwhal with the stitched mountain border and then just white cardstock for the snow caps. Then I use the grassy border to die cut some noble fur cardstock and then the stitched simple hillside borders or simple stitch hillside borders to do this cilantro cardstock and that's going to make up my scenery and I'm going to glue that straight to my card base which is a piece of MFT snow cone cardstock. So I'm going to start with my mountain range and I'm going to adhere that pretty high up on the card almost all the way up to the top. Just want to leave a little bit of blue sky showing up there. 
and it was just a little bit too big so I'm going to take my cutter B scissors and trim off some excess there and then I'm going to take the cilantro piece which is going to be the grass in the foreground and adhere that to the little strip of noble fir grass which will be in the distance and I'm going to glue those two pieces together in front of the mountain range. So I'm just making sure that that is on there nice and straight before I smooth that all into place. And then I'm going to add a little bit of glue to the top of each of those mountains and pick some of these snow caps to add. So there's a big, medium, and a small, and I have four mountains, so I did big, medium, small, medium. So I'm just gluing those on with my Barely Art Precision Craft Glue. Then I'm going to take the pond from Dad Plus Me and I stamp that out using some mermaid ink and then die cut that. So I'll add some liquid glue to the back of that and I'm going to line it up right at the top of the cilantro piece. So you get just a little bit of that showing on the shore on the opposite side. Then I pop that in my Misty and I'm going to stamp a sentiment from the Dad Plus Me stamp set down at the bottom using Noble Fur ink. And I'm doing the one that says, Dad, you're officially awesome because this is going to be my Father's Day card for my dad. So I stamped that down twice to make sure it was nice and bold. And then I'm going to open up that card and stamp on the inside using that mermaid ink. So I'm doing the little tiny mountain range and the sentiment that says Happy Father's Day. I wanted to keep it minimal on the inside because I like to write a nice note to my dad for Father's Day. And now I'm ready to bring in my images and start setting the scene. So I'm going to start with my cattails because those are going in the distance surrounding that pond. So I wanted those to get down first. So I'm adding the one with the two cattails over on the left. And then I'll have the one with just one cattail over on the right hand side. So just making sure that, that is glued down securely. And then I'm going to grab the bear. And I wanted the bear to be holding the largest trout. So I'm just searching through my images there and kind of seeing how I want that to be on the card. So I am going to add some liquid glue to the back of that and then just slip it into the daddy bear's hands. So it looks like he's holding on to that. And then I'll add some more liquid glue to the back and that's gonna go over on the right hand side. So just making sure I have that just where I want him. And then for the baby bear, I wanted him to be holding this fishing pole. So I'm gonna use the pole as a placeholder to kind of figure out where I want that baby bear to go. And then I can add some liquid glue to the back of the pole as well and slip it under his paw so it looks like he's holding on to that. Kind of extending the rod over to his dad who's helping him unhook his latest catch. And of course he has the little smaller fish attached. So I just glued that to the bottom of the line. And then we have this little bucket of fish that I'm gonna put over near the dad. So they have been having a successful fishing day. My son would be super proud. And then these little grasses, I just wanted to kind of fill in the scene and make it look a little bit more wild because that cilantro card cardstock is pretty smooth. So adding these little tufts of grass just make it look a bit more wilderness. So just adding those. And then I wanted to add the fishing hat to the dad's head, like I said. So I just tipped that at a bit of an angle so it was kind of um, balanced on his one ear. Then I have these two little frogs, so I just wanted to figure out where I wanted them to go before I adhered those down. But I knew I wanted the sitting one to go right above the dad sentiment to kind of draw your eye there. So I'm just adding him, and then the leaping frog is going to go over on the left hand side to kind of balance out the bucket of fish. And then I had this dragonfly and I just wanted to figure out where the best placement was for that. I decided to add that up in the sky 
but I felt like I was missing another pop of red on the card because I only had one. So I ended up coloring and die cutting another dragonfly in red. And I'm going to add that down on the right hand side, kind of swooping down toward the pond. And I know masculine cards don't usually have any glitter on them, but I just couldn't resist adding a touch on the dragonfly's wings and also on the bellies of the trout because fish have scales and the scales catch the light, so it seemed appropriate and not too out of place. So I just added a tiny little bit there so it would just have a little bit of extra something and that is going to finish off this card so i will pick that up to the camera so you can see all of the detail and tip that into the light and give you another peek at the inside i hope you guys enjoyed this one i know my dad is going to love it because he's just that kind of dad so <laughs> if you enjoyed it too make sure you hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already make sure that you've got that notification bell rung so that you never miss a future video I'll have all of the products I used listed and linked in the description bar below. And if you'd like to keep watching, here are two extra videos I thought you might also enjoy. You can click on either one to check them out. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you all have an absolutely amazing day. Bye-bye.